Hi everybody, welcome back to the Feynman Technique. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at this integral. The integral from 0 to 1 of cosine x natural log x dx. And we're going to be using um, this fact that I, uh, I posted on the channel recently. That is the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of f of n is equal to the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of f of 2n plus the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of f of 2n plus 1. I'll link to, uh, if it's not obvious to you why that's true, I will, I'm going to link to the description, to the, uh, to the video where I, where I derived that identity in the description. All right, so let's get started. Um, well, let's see. We can write this as i is equal to the real part of the integral from 0 to 1 of e to the i x natural log x dx. And you, you will need to, uh, to be familiar with Euler's identity in order to know why that's true, but I'm not going to go over that today. Uh, but anyway, that is true. Um, so, all right, next step. Let's create a function of t that's equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of um, e to the i x times x to the t dx. Using the Leibniz rule for differentiation under the integral sign, we can obtain f prime of t by taking a partial with respect to t of the integrand. So this will be the integral from 0 to 1 of e to the i x times x to the t times natural log x dx. Okay, now we see that if we take the real part of f prime evaluated at the point 0, we'll get back our original integral. All right, so the next step is to... Um, use Taylor series to find a new way to write our original f of t. And uh, we will be using the Taylor series for the exponential function. Uh, that is that the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of e to the u, I mean, I'm sorry, of u to the n over n factorial is equal to e to the u. I'm sure you're all familiar with that. So we'll use that um, on our f of t. So that's going to give us f of t being equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the t times the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of well, something to the n over n factorial dx. That something in this case is going to be ix. All right, let's, uh, let's rewrite this as i to the n, x to the n. So we have i to the n, x to the n. We'll bring our x to the t inside the, uh, the summation since it does not depend on n. Um, so that's x to the n plus t. Um, there won't be any problems with convergence if we switch the summation and, integ and uh, integration notation. So we'll do that. So this is going to be the sum from n equals 0 to infinity. Um, and then we'll have an integral from 0 to 1. All right. Let's bring all the things that don't depend on x um, outside of our integral. So that will be i to the n over n factorial, leaving us nothing but the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the n plus t dx. Um, and that's just going to evaluate to n plus t plus 1. Okay, there's our f of t. Um, 
from there, it's very easy to get our f prime of t. Um, since the only thing that depends on t is this 1 over n plus t plus 1, it'll be a very simple derivative to, to take with respect to t. All right, so let's just erase this and write down our f prime of t in some form over here not some form, in summation form. So our f prime of t is going to be equal to the sum from n equals 0 to infinity. We'll still have the i to the n over n factorial. Um, and this is just 1 over n plus t plus 1, so that would become uh, negative 1 over n plus t plus 1 squared. So negative 1 over n plus t plus 1 all squared. All right. All right, so now we have our f prime of t in summation form. So let's plug in 0 and then take the real part of it. So i is going to be equal to negative real part of the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of i to the n over n factorial times n plus 0 plus 1, all squared. All right, so we're getting pretty close now. Um, this i to the n is, that, that, will, that kind of, uh, that kind of, that's not something we've seen so far on this channel. But that's why we're going to break out this identity here. So now we can say that um, instead of i being equal to the real part of the sum of this, we'll say it's equal to the, the negative real part of what we would get if we plugged in 2n and 2n plus 1 respectively for our n's. So that's going to be, let's see, i will be equal to negative real part of two things. Well, the first one is going to be the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of i to the 2n over 2n factorial times 2n plus 1 all squared plus the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of i to the 2n plus 1 power over 2n plus 1 factorial times 2n plus 1 plus 1, which is 2n plus 2, squared. Okay, let's see. We can rewrite this i to the 2n is i squared to the n. In other words, negative 1 to the n. And we can take, out, take away this plus 1 and just simply bring out times i. And this will also become... Uh, negative 1 to the n. All right. Well, you'll notice that if we took the i out of this sum right here, if this was just the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n over this stuff, that would be a purely real result. Therefore, uh, multiplying that purely real result by i would give us a purely imaginary result, which would drop out when we took the real part of the entire thing. So we can get rid of that real part right there and get rid of this whole sum right here, which is really, really nice. So that right there is the... Uh, is about as far as I think you can go um, with this, with the answer to that integral. Um, I don't know of uh, any nicer ways to write this, but you can, uh, 
you can come up with something very, very, very close to the answer, uh, to the true answer to that integral within about five iterations. Um, yeah, I mean, due to this 2n factorial in the denominator there, I mean, at, at n equals 6, you're taking 12 factorial, which is a gigantic number, um, plus you're multiplying it by 13 squared. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's going to approach the true answer for i very, very quickly. Um, and if you're an engineer or a uh, physicist or a biologist or a chemist or anything like that, anything but a pure mathematician, uh, this answer is definitely good enough. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that.